So, All right. so we, let's run it's, it was at the track in Itchen, and I look over, and, and there, here you are. I wasn't sure it was you, but you're back in Kenya for the trials. Is that right? Yes, yeah. I, um, I've been here for two weeks now. This is my second week, and uh, it's going good. It's tough. Your turn is pretty tough, um, but I'm loving it, and uh, I hope uh, to get ready for the trials. Yeah, you said you came straight after New York. The first week was kind of tough. What, what have you been doing? I mean, how do you have to change things? You're at, what, seven, eight thousand 8,000 feet of altitude? Yeah, about 8,000. And uh, the first week was really tough, and my coach, we, we had a good talk about it. And, you know, just to be careful not to completely go crazy and just break down. So I started running 30 minutes when I got here, 45 minutes. And, uh, yeah, and then the first week really put, you know, for, for 400, if I was running 72, so I would end up running 74, maybe even 6 for my force the first week. And just to get kind of get a feel of things before I uh, actually settle. And I did my long run on Sunday, and it's the first time that I felt like myself. Yeah. You know, uh, since I got here, I felt like I was adapting well, and today I felt so much better. So. Right. Yeah. And is it good to be back in Kenya, or do you come? It is. I yeah. mean, it's exciting. I mean, it's, look at all these runners. It's crazy. I mean, I've never trained in Kenya before. Yeah. I mean, in in Italy specifically. Yeah. Um, but when I got here and I I went for a run at, at ten o'clock, and there were I don't know maybe more than a thousand runners on the road, and I just it blew my mind. I, I was just kind of. It's exciting and it's it's an eye opener. Yeah. Even me being a Kenyan, <laughs> it's an eye opener because I looked at the street and I thought, look at these people. Are you kidding me? Right. Running is hard. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so how, why did you choose Iten? And I mean, where are you staying here? And, and do you, does it looks like you're by yourself, no coach or anything. No, I'm by myself. I have an, my nephew is trying to get a scholarship. Oh, yeah. he's, he's training with me here, but uh, he, he didn't come to the track today. Just went for a fat look. So I'm here by myself, no coach. I Skype with my coach, you know, twice a week or so, and uh, um, I can talk to family. They're not far away from uh, here. But I'm here for business. It's not really to visit family or anything. It's, I'm here for business. I'm getting ready for the trials. Um, I've, this is my third time coming for the trials. And every time I come, I struggle because of the altitude. And this time, I, you know, I thought, oh, forget it. I am just going and committing to this, and I'm going to do it for a month before the trials to give myself a shot. Before, how, how soon would you get here? Uh, I've been here four days before the trials. Yeah. And t- the longest I've been here was uh, seven days. That was the longest, or maybe six days. That was the longest. And it's tough. It's tough running it in Nairobi. Right. Just coming from sea levels. So, so l- looking at the trials, I mean, what's the, what's the goal or what's? God, I hope I make the world championship. I mean, I'm so close, but then it's so far away. Like, it's I'm running well this year, and I just hope that things go well. My, I know I'm ready to run, to to make. I, I I know I'm ready to run at that level because I've proven in my times and even running the goals. I just need to be able to run at that altitude and be able to make the team give myself a chance to run in Daegu. Right, right, and that's going to be the 5,000? 10. The 10,000? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> sorry. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know I was running which one until a week ago. We yeah. hadn't decided because it was really tough because I was kind of in the middle of everything. Uh, I had two, two girls who was, you know, ahead of me, three girls in Kenya ahead of me, and one more ahead of me, in, in, not in the 10, but um, so I kind of figured... I mean there, I mean the mix, I just, I had to make my choices right, and we didn't know how the 10K will go at 5,000 feet. Right. So, and, and have you figured out, I mean, is it top, how do they pick the team? It's not necessarily top um, three, is it? Well, no, necessarily. Yeah, yeah. But all I can really do is, you know, go, run, try to be top three, and then make my case. Right, That's right. all I can really do. I can't, I can't do anything, I mean, it's political and all that stuff, but... Um, I don't have any power over that. Yeah, yeah. Do you think since you train in the States, could they kind of hold that against you? Or do you think... I don't know. I hope not. God, I hope not. Yeah. It would be horrible. But, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to make a life for myself. I mean, how can you blame somebody? Right. It's like um, if you found a job in where? Great Britain. And I mean, wouldn't you go and if, if it was a better, good, it was a better deal? Right, right. Go and stay there. So that's what I'm trying to do. I hope they don't hold against me. I'm just trying to... Um, make a better life for myself training in in the U.S. and going to school. <laughs> right, right. And then if you make the team, will you just run, go, will that be your next race? Or do you have any races between uh, between the trials and the... I hope I hope to run uh, maybe one more. 
for London for sure, awful for sure. Um, but I was thinking maybe Stockholm, just getting a chance to train at altitude, it would be great to just go to sea level and see what I can do in the five and run. Uh, coming down from sea, from altitude, so um, maybe Stockholm, maybe London. Right, right. The two of those, um, maybe both. Just depends on how right trials goes, how I feel after the trials yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And was that ten at uh, was that Stanford? Was that your only? Was that your first ten? That was my uh, first ten in three, three, three years. Yeah, yeah, first big one, right? Yes, it was a big one, and the, the, I felt, felt great in that race. So hopefully. Hopefully I'm, I'm getting there. All right. And do you know which, who your top Kenyan competition is going to be, or is that not set yet? You can't really set all that. <laughs> I mean, there's so many people. It, yeah. it, it's not a surprise to see somebody you've never heard of anywhere show up and just kick your butt. Yeah. That's just <laughs> and it, not that you, hopefully you make it in the 10, but if you don't, is the 5 after the 10? Is there yeah, any way to try, to, to try the 5? That's tough. That's tough. I'm, I'm going with all my heart. I mean, I'm, I'm going to give it every bit of me and... God, I hope I don't have to think about the five after the ten. I really hope not. <laughs> well, very good. Best of luck. We'll be we'll be following. Well, thanks. Hopefully you enjoy your ten. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pretty eye-opening. You're right. There's like, they said it was a small day at the track, and there's probably what 150, 200 people here. Yeah, and I mean there's still like hundreds in the streets right yeah, now. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Thursdays. You should go to the end of the road right after St. Patrick's on Thursdays. Thursday the ten. In the morning? Yeah, you should go there. Okay. There's, oh, so many athletes are doing a fab like on Thursdays at 10. All you right. should give that a try. That'll be two days from now. All right, thank you. All right, thanks. Bye -bye.